Now, I've been a psychologist for over 20 years, and over that time, I've seen thousands of individuals who talk to me about how can they improve the quality of their physical and psychological well-being. I was very distressed today to learn that the American psychiatric tradition have come up with a new term which explains something wrong with people choosing healthy and nutritious food. The term orsexia nervosa has been given because of a belief in the pathological obsession with eating nutritious and pure food. Now this concerns me greatly because clearly a solution to a, to a psychiatric disorder, if we label it in this way, is, uh, is medication. And yet the food we're eating, of course, we know is adulterated, often with a large amount of pharmaceutical medication in its production and processed foods. It's really all about choice. This is a very slippery slope. If we start saying that people who are making informed choices to improve the quality of their lives are being told by so-called professionals of how they could do this differently, does it mean, therefore, that if we start growing our own fruit and vegetables, somewhere along the line, a professional will tell us that we have a psychological disorder? Now, there's also a lot of people today who are becoming aware of where our food comes from and the effect it has on people, the environment and animals there is an increasing number of people becoming vegetarian and vegan because they realise that the food is not only adulterated with a lot of chemicals and it's processed, also animals and people are being abused in the process of its production. I think people that choose a healthy and nutritional way of life should really be applauded for questioning those in authority who would say perhaps it is better for us to have processed foods and to go along with our market conditions. This is all really about choice. Sometimes we give our power away to those in authority we believe have the right to tell us what is right or wrong. I encourage you to become the leader of your own life. Make informed choices, seek out the advice of professionals by all means, but also use a little bit of common sense. Unfortunately, common sense is not very common. But I encourage you to embrace the choices, to think wisely, not get angry at these sort of events that happen in our media where we see labels like this and, and put our hands up in despair, but act to bring about something different by asserting your power to choose.